Hey what is up guys Tanmay here for Simple Snippets and today's video tutorial is all going to be practical and we're going to be seeing a new program that is write a program to find largest of three numbers. So if you've been following this playlist we've pretty much covered a lot of basics like data types and variables, conditional control structures, looping control structures. So if you've been following all those tutorials you're pretty much good to go with basic programming. So this is going to be an entire practical video. Wherein as I told you we're going to be seeing a program to find largest of three numbers. So let's get started with this today's program. So I'm just going to first declare three different variables. I'm going to say int x equals to 5, int y equals to 4 and int z or z depending upon where you live equals to 6. Okay so we have three different variables with three different values. Now we have to find out which one is the largest one. So since a decision has to be made we're going to be using the conditional control statements that is the if else statement in this case. So let's start off with the if else structure. So I'm going to say if x is greater than y then I'm going to say now since we've already checked if x is greater than y when this statement is going to be true it would mean that x is greater than y. However we have to still check whether x is greater than z to declare it as the largest right. So inside this if I'm again going to create one more if statement so I'm going to say if x is greater than z or z and then I can be very sure that since x is greater than y over here this outer if was executed and inside this I again checked if x is greater than z and since that is also true it would ultimately mean that x is the greatest right. So this is how we can use nested if structure so I'm using one if inside another if block now let's say x is greater than y is true. Now I'm checking if x is greater than z but this is false. Let's say x, z is greater than x which means that this if won't be executed right. So it would go in an else block. Now let's say x is greater than y. So let's assume or you can actually see over here we've assigned those values like that only. So since x is 5, 5 is greater than 4 right. Okay. so this outer if is true which means that the control will go inside this block. Now it will check if x is greater than z. So is x greater than z according to what we've assigned since x is 5 and z is 6 which means that this statement is not true right. x is not actually greater than z but it is smaller than z. So that would ultimately mean that z is the largest number. Correct right. The reason that I'm saying z is directly de declared as the largest number over here is we already know x is greater than y. So what I'm saying is we know x is greater than y and now inside this if block we found out that z is greater than x which ultimately would mean that z is also greater than y right because if x is greater than y but x is smaller than z that would mean that z would be the greatest. So that's why in the else I can directly say that z is the greatest. Okay so this was for when x is greater than y. So now we just checked for the first condition that is x greater than y. But what if y is greater than x? So we are not checking anywhere for that condition. So in the else if part, so I'm going to say else if y greater than x. So now I'm checking whether y is greater than x. So if y is greater than x, I still have to check if y is greater than z as well, right? So I'm going to say if y greater than z system dot out dot print ln y is the greatest and again applying the same logic inside the else if y is greater than x but y is smaller than z ultimately z would be the greatest right so I think this would be more than enough to check for all the conditions because what we are pre assuming in this program is the three different values. So all the three variables are always going to have three different values because we are not checking for equality. That is we are not checking or we are not having any case wherein any of the two variables or any of the three variables are equal. So that would have more different else and if cases. So that would make the program a little bit more complicated because we'll have to add those cases and take account of those equalities as well. So let me just save this and let's try to run this. And by the way we don't need a else part over here. See this is the larger if then we had else if so we don't actually need an else part. So else part is usually optional. So let's just save this and let's try to run this. So here you can see 
z is greatest because we've already hard coded z equals to 6 and we're getting the correct output. Let's try to make x greatest. Let me just say x equals to 7. Let's save this and let's run this. So there you go. You can see x is the greatest. Now let me just make y greater. So I'm going to say y equals to 8. If I run this, there you go. You can see y is the greatest. Let me just try to make y and z equal. Let's see what the output we get over here. Okay, so we got z is the greatest, which is a wrong output actually when we equate y and z. But we are not checking for that value because that would require one more condition that is inside the smaller else. I'll have to again add else if and check for equality as well. So that's why it is always printing z is greatest because z falls in the else part and else part executes when none of the conditions are true. So when I say y and z are equal, so first of all y is greater than x. So this part would be executed inside that it would check y is greater than z. No, because they are equal, right? So I'm not checking anywhere over here is y equal equal to z. So it directly goes in the else part and prints z is greatest even though they are equal. So you'll just probably have to add one more condition over here if they are equal. But to keep it simple, we are assigning different values and then trying to run this. That's how you find out a program to find the largest of the three number. Now this can be done in a different way as well. So let me just first erase this code that we've already written. Now instead of using the nested if else, I can use what is known as composite expressions or multiple conditions in the if condition statement or in the condition part. So you can see this is one condition, right? If x is greater than y, I can add one more condition and perform and or or operation between the two. So let me just first write it down and then I'll explain to you. So I'm going to say if x greater than y and x greater than z. So this double and is the logical and operation. So what it does is it will check if x greater than y is true and if x greater than z is true. Only then this entire condition is going to be true. So this means that this is one condition. This is one condition. So there are two conditions and there is one and operation, logical and operation in between. So if this statement or this condition is true and this condition is true, only then the if block will be executed. And when both of these conditions that is x greater than y and x greater than z is true, it would ultimately mean that x is the greatest, right? Because you're comparing x with y and x with z in one single expression, which will make our program easy. Correct? Now, similarly in the else if part, what I can say is else if y greater than x and and y greater than z and then I can directly print out y is the greatest because I'm checking y with x and y with z and I'm checking if y is greater than x and y is greater than z at the same time. And since it is a logical and operation, the entire statement or the entire operation will be true only if both the conditions are true. So that's the condition. So even in Boolean algebra, we have logical and operation, right? So the output is true only when both the inputs are true. So that's how it works pretty much similar over here as well. And lastly, if both of these statements or if both of these conditions do not execute, which means both of them are false, it would ultimately mean that Z is the greatest, right? So let's save this and let's see if this runs. So there you go. Z is the greatest because Z is nine. Let's make Y the greatest by assigning it as a value of 89. There you go. Y is the greatest. Let's try to make seven as seven, eight, nine. Let's run this. So there you go. X is the greatest. So you can see just by adding one more condition in the if block. So in the conditional part, I'm adding two conditions. Just by adding that I simplified this program and made it short in just 26 lines. Otherwise I was using the nested if else wherein the program was becoming a little bit bigger and a little bit complex to understand. So this is another way you can use the if else block and you can add multiple conditions with logical operations in between. So there can be logical or operation as well, but that is not the need as of now because we want both the conditions to be true and only then X would be the greatest. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you understood the simple program wherein we use the if else condition statement to determine the largest out of three numbers. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video tutorial on this channel. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video tutorial. Peace.